Welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. I hope everybody is happy and healthy during this extraordinary time. I thought I'd do something a little different for this episode, mix it up a little bit, make it a little fun. I'm gonna give you 10, yes 10, ideas for last minute gifting for the dancer in your life, especially the point dancer. These are unique gifts. So instead of maybe getting a leotard for somebody or another gift certificate for something, why not get something really special and something they can actually use? Let's get started. Here are your 10 last minute stocking stuffer gift ideas for the point shoe dancer in your life. Number one, one of my personal favorites, we are going to go with a utility knife. These are those X-Acto blades that cut. They are perfect for cutting the bottoms of point shoes. You can cut the insides of point shoes. So if you wanna cut your own shanks, you may want a utility knife or they're also called box cutters. Now you wanna be super careful with these. I do not recommend these for your youngest dancer, but for a dancer that's a little more mature and can handle a blade like that. And don't forget your extra blades. So I've got a nice, nice uh, cutter here and I've got my extra blades and why not add into it some really nice leather gloves. So uh, these are heavy duty leather gloves. So if you are using the box cutter, you put on the gloves, you don't have to worry about anybody cutting fingers or anything. And you do wanna be very careful, okay? So that's your number one gift giving idea. Number two, makes a great stocking stuffer. I have got Gorilla Tape. Now I know we recommend duct tape and you know masking tape over the toes sometimes, but I'm telling you, Gorilla Tape is about the absolute strongest stuff that you can use. And what's so great about Gorilla Tape is you can use it on the insides of the shanks. And I have actually been in rehearsal with people where their ballet slippers sort of blew apart during the class, you know, it just sort of broke down. They took some of the Gorilla Tape that I had and they tore it off and they wrapped it around their foot and they got totally through the rest of class. So Gorilla Tape is a really good idea for your stocking stuffer. Number three. Okay, this one is, I love this one. I know I say they're all my favorites, but this, this really is one of my favorites. So I've got a seven inch multi-purpose uh, uh, pair of scissors. So the scissors, what they're great for is they cut through leather, hmm? point shoes once again, so you can cut shanks and things. But the best thing about this is this one is designed for maximum leverage with minimal effort. So meaning, if you think about it, a lot of people that dance on point, you know, if they're women, I mean men dance on point, but if they're women, they have small hands and I know my hands are actually pretty weak. So to get something like this that gives me leverage when I cut, instead of me having to kind of go uh, uh, with a pair of scissors, uh, the, these are terrific. So these will also get through your very, very thickest shank. Like say if you have a Russian point or something like that. So if you really want to get through a thick shank, you get these ones that give you more leverage. Great idea. And this also fits in a stocking. Okay. My number four idea, wire brush. Okay. So we'll give you a close up on that one too. But this wire brush I found in a hardware store for less than a dollar. It was like 79 cents. Isn't that amazing? So this makes a great stocking stuffer. So what would I use a wire brush for? Well, uh, the bottom of point shoes, if you get a little slippery, you can use that. And you don't have to worry, like the teeth aren't so strong, they're really gonna rip into your skin, right? So you, you know, if you, if you make a mistake, you're gonna be okay. And also these wear out pretty quickly, so they're really cheap. Why not pick up three of them and put them in somebody's stocking with a nice bow around it. But they also are good for if you have a ballet slipper and there's too much, say, rosin buildup. If you use rosin on your floors, the suede can get built up. So you would use that to just kind of bring up the nap again on the uh, suede bottom. Okay, so that's your number four. So number five. Okay, you can put it in a cute little bag, it fits there, or it even goes in a stocking. So what do I have? This one is a leveler, and we'll let you see a close-up of that. So what does this do? This sees, with it has a bubble in it and liquid, so it sees whether something's level. What can you use it for? Well, very often with point shoes, especially if they're custom made, the tips may be slanted, which some dancers prefer, or the tips may be very level or slanted one way or the other. So you can use your leveler to kind of see whether it's even or not. 
right? This also works great on ballet bars. Did I set up my ballet bar straight? And it also works on floors. How many times have you been on a floor and you've been like, whoa, on your pirouettes and you're like, what's going on? You can pull out the leveler and see whether the, it's you or the floor. <laughs> and now number six. Now for number six, I love this one. I know I say that with everyone, but I really do love this one because it's so simple and so inexpensive. Go to the dollar store, get some of these glues. You know from our last episode, the glue is cyanoacrylate, okay? That's just a really, it's a fancy way of saying it's a crazy glue, a super glue, a jet glue, a hot stuff, with a point shoe glue, whatever you're gonna use. I just say get the inexpensive stuff. The dollar store has it for a dollar, so that's where you should go. But if you also get it in different shapes. So now this one with a longer nozzle, is ideal for going inside of the point shoe. So if you wanna get in the tip. But these, the smaller ones that are a one shot kind of deal, you use them just once. These are a great size to fit in a dance bag. So if somebody has an emergency and they have to do like say the shank right there, or maybe the inner sole right there, and you can even kind of get them into the corners, right? So why not fill up somebody's stocking with all the glue they need to take care of their point shoes. Number seven. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a crafty one. Okay, so you're gonna get your own bag of loose lavender, right? And you can find this really, oh, it, smell, oh, it smells like heaven. I love lavender. But you can get any other kind of thing. You can make it potpourri, whatever you like. I just happen to like lavender, uh, dried mint works. Um, you name it, Christmas smells like um, cinnamon and nutmeg and you know that kind of stuff, allspice and cloves. Get that all dried out. Go ahead, but lavender you can find really cheap online, right? Bags of lavender, and then you buy some sachets, right? So that's just those those mesh bags, and they can be any color. I just happen to pick purple. Then what you do is you know these uh, silica gel packs that you get like they come in vitamins and they come with shoes sometimes or all kinds of clothes all kinds of they, they love to stick these things into packages rather than throw it away recycle them so what you do is you take your lavender and you take your silica gel and you put the gel inside there with the lavender and voila you have made somebody a really lovely sachet so not only does it make their point shoes smell good the silica gel will also help dry them out, okay? This works great in point shoes. It works great in uh, your locker. If you have a dance locker, I have a point shoe slipper drawer that sometimes doesn't smell so great, so I've got one of these in there. So you've got two things in one, and that can go in your gift bag as well. Oh, this is a fun one too. This is like if you're, if you're a little ambitious, right? So what I did was I ordered a bunch of these grocery bags. So these are the grocery bags, like a, you know, they you can put vegetables and produce in it. It's a recyclable bag, so you don't use plastic bags at the grocery store. So I ordered some of those. They have a drawstring, and they're mesh. Now, point shoe companies will sell you mesh bags with their logo on them, and that's great, but you can get these for even cheaper. So what I did was I got one of those, and then I put a bow on it, and then I said, oh, what can I put in this? So I took my leveler, I stuck it in there, I took my, um, where's my sachet? I took my sachet of lavender and I stuck it in there. I got a cheap little nutcracker at the dollar store, but it's so adorable, right? And then I stuck it in there. And then I also, if you remember some of our last episodes, Kathy Sullivan sells this great product called a ballet glider. Ballet gliders are awesome. They don't cost so much. They're reversible, they're washable. And watch, there's Velcro on it, so you can wrap it around a ballet bar for stretching, but also during this time when we're worried about germs and communicable things, you can put this on the ballet bar and then you can put your hand on the ballet bar and you don't have to worry about touching it. So you don't have to worry about putting gel all over yourself or anything. So the, the ballet glider works for that. And they come in these all these fun colors. Uh, and then you can take this and you put it inside of the bag. And then what's so cute is you can actually take the bag and you can hang it up and make it like its own stocking. So instead of stockings hung by the chimney with care. It can be mesh point shoe bags hung by the chimney with care. Or they even, if they're not too heavy, they can hang up on the tree. So that's another fun idea. Now we're going to number nine. 
Well, this is one of my all-time favorites, but it really is. I know I say that all the time, but it really is. Okay, this book, can't see the title. I'll make sure you get the title. It's called The Point Shoe Book by Angela Reinhardt, and it's Point Shoe Tips and Tricks. Right? So the great thing about this book is we'll give you, you know, a couple ideas of the pages, but she has step by step exactly how you cut apart a point shoe. Let me find a fun one there. Uh, she has all kinds of pictures about exactly how you take care of your point shoes, exactly what you should do to cut them apart. She really went to a lot of trouble. And the good news is people are selling these books used online for under $5. So this fits really neatly in a, in a stocking. It makes a great extra gift that's not too much money. And if there's somebody that's kind of a point shoe geek like myself, they're gonna love this book. It's just, I can't even say enough good things about it. I've learned so much from reading this book. That's your number nine. Okay, number 10, last but not least, I just happen to have an anvil. Oh, it's a little heavy. <laughs> but if you want this idea, if you like it, you're going to buy somebody an anvil. They're not that much money at the hardware stores. Or if you look online, like say, I know um, eBay sells them and Facebook sells them and everything, but ugh, it is a little heavy, so you're not gonna be able to put it in the stocking or hang it on the tree. But for somebody that wants to work on their point shoes and actually cut their shanks or even flatten the tips, I suggest an anvil, right? The other thing is I found this great size hammer. Uh, my husband told me this is called a stubby. So uh, I didn't know that. Uh, I've always been lugging around a full size hammer. Not anymore. I've got the small hammer. Uh, it's lightweight, but it's heavy enough to do the work. And don't forget the shank tacks. So these are called hand shank tacks. They're very soft nails and they use them in shoes, in leather shoes. Uh, don't get them confused with the carpet tacks because the carpet tacks are a little bit different. But you wanna get loose hand shank tacks so you could combine that with this and then maybe um, think of a creative way to wrap it. I don't know, I just stuck a bow on there. But um, you could think of something more fun. Just be careful, you don't wanna stub a toe on this if you stick it under the Christmas tree, nobody wants to get hurt. But the cool thing is if you look at the shank, what you can do is you can take it and you can even put the end of the point shoe on it. Here's my stubby hammer. See, and I'm gonna have really nice even tips after that. Or if I wanna pound out some of the sound on my point shoe, I can do it that way too. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and those are your 10 things that you can gift for your dancer last minute stocking stuffers. Don't forget to click if you like something subscribe, and share with others. Happy holidays, everybody.